Hey guys, it's Megan. I'm going to do a real quick video that I was requested to do for someone and that is adding fonts to Exodo on Android. This is the mobile version. Um, it may, it's going to differ using it on your computer as well as using Exodo on Apple. Um, this should work for every mobile device, every um, phone for sure, and possibly tablet. I'm not sure, so your results may vary, but this should work. Okay, so you're going to start with just about any font website. I like Da Font. That's where I've gotten mine for years. So you're going to just find something that you like. Um, my favorite font maker is Misty Font. Oops. Here, we'll do it this way. <clears throat> One of her fonts is back in, why aren't they showing up here? So give me just a moment here. I love glitter is another one. Ha, spelling is important. I did not get much sleep last night. So, okay, there we go. Misty, I spelled it incorrectly. See, sleep is, makes a difference. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on hers. She has a really good variety. So you would just click on any font that you want to download. And I'm going to click on, I'm trying to look at one that I don't have because I have a lot of them. Go to this, oops, second page here. <clears throat> and I've already downloaded this one, but I'll show you how it would work. Okay, so Fall is Coming is one of their fonts. And this comes with that really cute leaf that you would use the back slant for. So it shows you, okay, yeah. Shows you right there, use the backslash for the leaf. And so all you would do is go to download right there. Keep in mind, this is free for personal use. Don't use it for commercial use. If so, you need to contact the font designer. Keep to the rules, keep, you know, it's, we're given these free fonts as a gift from these designers. We need to um, keep to their terms of use. Okay, so after you've downloaded it, it's gonna go typically to your downloads folder. So for me, I go to my files here and that brings up this big long folder where everything is going to be. Your most recently downloaded things are going to be all the way down here on the bottom. And so here's two that I haven't downloaded yet. So I'm going to click on end of the dream. Mama. And it's going to bring up this zip file that I need to unzip. So you would hit extract and then always read the read me text. Use docs or whatever you have on your phone. Mama. Mm. No. And so then this, you know, says here, thanks for downloading, personal use only, yada, yada. Okay. Then what you're going to do is long hold on end of the dream. Anything that is a t dot TTF or dot OTF is a text font. And that's what you're looking for. So I'm going to hit move. And then I'm gonna go back to my download folder and I'm gonna look for Exodo, okay? And I'm just gonna click move here. So this is where I want to store my font files, okay? So there's here, most of them are TTF, some are OTF. You're okay. I've got a little one here that's wanting to help me, so I apologize. All right, so now I'm gonna to go to Exodo after you've put in all your fonts. And you can see I'm kind of making a cheat sheet of what my fonts look like at 30 point, at 30 point value. 
That's typically what I use in my planner, which is the DPC Slim. That's the size that I think works best for what I what I write out. Okay, so you go to the three dots up there. Go to settings. And then you're going to go all the way, or most of the way down. Oh, here's a tip. This unlimited tabs, if you do not have that checked, you can only open three different files at a time. If you do have it checked, you get as many as you want. Okay. Next, you want to look for this text annotation fonts. Right there, that's highlighted. Okay. All right, so here's where you're going to check your fonts that you want to be have available and where you're going to uncheck the ones that you don't. Z Exodo does come with this coming home font, which is, or coming soon font, which is actually one of my favorites. I use that the most. Um, but you're just going to scroll through here, uncheck the ones that you don't want, check the ones that you do. There are lots that are included for different languages, different... Um, you know, serif and sans and all of those wonderfully boring fonts. Oopsie. Okay. No. no. So I'm going to keep going down, keep going down. They're typically going to be at the top or at the bottom. Okay, and this is where you would check off what font you're wanting to add. Okay. Hit OK. Hit Back. And then you should be able to find that font here in your list. Okay. That is pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time.